is going into ICBM missiles. Nuclear warfare is coming to America. This place known as Old Black Pea Garden Apartments is getting ready to be damn charcoal. So when you have these young men mocking, talk about y'all want to see fireworks, oh, trust and believe, y'all gonna see fireworks. God got the grand finale for your ass. Hey, stay right here. You understand what the officer's bringing out, how heavy it is? They just had some young man come over and mock the prophets. Yo, better watch out for them fireworks. God never gave us the spirit of fear. Isaiah 54, 16. I want you to listen to something. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54 and verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith. God controls life and death. I don't give a damn what y'all men are uttering. One of us go down, there's going to be many more that take my place. Many more that take the next man's place. But trust and believe, we're going to hang your ass in that day. Read on. That blew at the coals. God says, I created the smith that blew at the coals. What is the, what is the job of a smith? Forge iron. So God has given you a description. God says, I am the one that created the one that created a weapon. God is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction. Read that again. Come on. Behold, I have created the smith that blowed the coals in the fire. And that bring it forth an instrument for this work. What is that instrument for this work? We're doing the work right now. You know you're an Israelite, but I want you to understand in the spirit, you don't see no numbers right now. For surety, trust and believe there is many surrounding us right now that the physical eye cannot see. The angels are all around this block right now. So he said, I created the smith that bloweth the coal. Read on. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And brings forth an instrument for his work. What are some of the instruments that God had the smith make? Do you know what's taking place in the world today? Pestilence, what else? Famine, time is getting short. So earthquakes in various places. Now with me asking you that question about that war, or the things, the instruments created for his work, that is going into ICBM missiles. Nuclear warfare is coming to America. This place known as O Black, Pea Garden Apartments is getting ready to be damn charcoal. So when you have these young men mocking, talk about y'all want to see fireworks, oh, trust and believe, y'all gonna see fireworks. God got the grand finale for your ass. If y'all repent and get your minds right. From there, give me that in Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 8. We ain't letting nobody run us off the block. How the hell you guys claim to have a block and they sold the damn block right up underneath your eyes? It don't belong to you. Y'all need to get your minds right with the Lord and come back to his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Read what you got. Come on. Then we're going to be seeking you chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their face. You see this face of these men out here? You see the face of these men on the sidewalk right here? They stand bold as a damn lion. Whether they wear us about themselves, they still going to stand stiffly for the word of God. Ain't nobody pumping no damn fear up here. You're dealing with men. You're dealing with the spirit of God back on the face of this planet, man. We're not playing no games. Now, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 12, because when you came up, you said you were of nobility, honorable, a, a king, I would happen to say. You know that you're Israel. What does the name Israel mean? Ah, uh, you got to know who you are. That's why we're here. What's your name, brother, by the way? My Israel name is Yehuda. Yehuda, Lion, Judah. All praise to the Most High. I'm Arie. It's a pleasure to meet you. All right, meaning lying of God. But the name Israel means as a prince has power with God. That's your biblical name. Our forefather's name was Jacob. His name was changed to what? Israel, meaning as a prince has power with God. So you got power, but where does that belong? Where do you find
find your power? In the Bible. In the Bible. In the Bible. So you got a lot of rappers out here that call themselves kings. King Von. King T. King K. Slate. Whatever the case may be. You say that you're noble. Well, what is the what is the attributes and the demeanor of a king according to God? Let's read it. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 12. It is an abomination. It is a what? Abomination. What is an abomination? Something detestable in the eyesight of God. You got that? Let's get there. We'll come back. Read. The book of Sirach chapter 15 verse 13. The Lord hated all abomination. No, God likes single parenthood. The Lord hated all abomination. No, God likes when kings cause their people to get murdered. Somebody that looks just like you. God likes that. Read. The Lord hated all abomination. It says God hateth abomination. Planned Parenthood is an abomination. Selling hop and cocaine and marijuana to your brother is an abomination. Cross-dressing is an abomination. Older men than me that don't keep the laws of God or tell the brothers what to do according to God's laws is an abomination. That's why you got to change. This ain't no, uh, we're not just harping on you. It's because we love our brothers. And if the shoe was on the other foot, my ass was down there. You better correct my ass too if I go off. Knowing that you know these laws. You understand that? Now go back. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 12. Read. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness. Wait a minute, King Von, King T. It says it's an abomination for kings to commit wickedness. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Read that again. I don't think they hear you. It is an abomination. Joshua 6, brothers. It is an abomination. It is an abomination. To kings to commit wickedness. To kings to commit wickedness. It is an abomination. It is an abomination. To kings to commit wickedness. To kings to commit wickedness. Thus saith the Lord. It's an abomination for a king to commit wickedness. It is an abomination for a king to kill his own people that looks just like him. It's an abomination for kings to treat their women as whores. It's an abomination for kings to leave their children it's an abomination and God said he hates that thing so you be a king do the things that are pleasing to the Lord get out here and wake up these young men have no goddamn fear behind these young men they can't do nothing to you God said fear him they can kill both soul and body in hell they can't do nothing but just take, move, remove you from the shell but at the end of the day you live on I'm going to take, hey, hey, give me that, give me that. Uh, 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 precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Give me that. We're going to prove all things. We're going to prove all things today. You coming back. Read what you got. Come on, listen close, all right? So don't fear their looks. God said make your face strong against their face as an adamant flint, as a stone. They mean mug, you mug right back. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saint. Joshua 6. Precious in the sight of the Lord. Precious in the sight of the Lord. It's the death. It's the death of his saints. So none of these men are fearful to give their life for the most high God. Ain't nothing a God's damn AK or K that can do to me, man. I was never meant to die. We will come back. Do you understand that? So what is your job, family? What what must you do now that you know who you are according to the Bible? Represent. Represent! That's right. All praise to... What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 